So tacos can be some of the most fun foods ever, but you know what makes them even better? Adding a little Bahamian flair. Today we're making grouper tacos with a papaya and coconut salsa and homemade guacamole. Yum! Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I'm your host, Ayanthea Smith, and chefing it up with me in the kitchen today, I have Chef Owen. Hi. Thank you so much for being here from Cassava Girl. I've heard so much about your food. Thank you, thank you so this much. This is going to be the first time I'm eating it. Oh, wow, really? Excellent. Yes. What's been taking you so long? I don't know. <laughs> I always miss out on the good stuff, there right? There you go, there you go. But I'm glad that I'm here and you're gonna actually get a chance to taste some of the great Yay, stuff. Yay, and cook along. And today we're making some grouper tacos. Oh yes, grouper With tacos. a papaya and coconut salsa. Oh yeah. That was oh, yeah. a little tongue twister for me and, a little earlier, but. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. You did mention earlier that whenever you make tacos, it's a nice for where they, something to cook something light, yes, something it's fresh. Fun. And um, it's a little small bite, so you want to add as much power and as much flavor in each bite that you can possibly get. So Awesome. I love me a good piece of grouper, so this is going to be good to get in a little fun-sized bite, right? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It's definitely a party in your mouth, okay? They don't call me the flavor god for nothing. <laughs> yes, I'm this guy saying. goes by the name, the flavor god, and I think through cooking with him today, I'm going to find out just why, yeah, right? exactly. You definitely. won't disappoint. No, definitely, definitely. I have a reputation to protect. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get started. We're going to get started with the salsa, that is? Yes, we're going to start with the salsa. Okay. And, um, for the magic of TV, um, I actually started you with some assistance. All so right. here, you just grab your bowl. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, so what, what goes into this uh, papaya coconut salsa mix we're going to do here today? Now, lady, you're getting in my business a little bit, okay? These are my special recipes <laughs> for secret today. Secret ingredients. <laughs> secret <laughs> ingredients. So here, we're going to start with first, we have some Napa cabbage, we have some sliced bell peppers, red and yellow, and we also have um, a little bit of red cabbage in there as okay. well. The reason why we use Napa cabbage versus the, um, the regular green cabbage, because Napa cabbage is actually gives it a softer texture mm -hmm. when we eat it, and it actually is a little seasoned with a bit of salt, okay. so it begins to bring the flavor out. Yes, yeah, sure. This reminds me a little bit of pickles, you know, the definitely, Creole dish definitely, pickles, definitely. that spicy coleslaw type thing. Oh yes, you, okay. you know what, I think you've done this before. <laughs> I eat a lot. <laughs> I okay. eat a lot, so we're gonna throw our uh, cabbage and carrot mixture, mixture yes. in here. All, All right. right, and get this going. Great. So, Chef Owen, yes. you and Cassava Girl, you guys are very popular. How oh, are we? Oh, yes, okay. I hear a lot about you all the time. Well, well, you know, People tell me that your food is amazing. What would got you into being a chef? Well, um, the fact that my mother didn't want to cook at a younger age and I had to starve and then cook with myself. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I don't oh, no, mommy no. is not going to be happy. <laughs> no, I know. Actually, my grandmother. My grandmother was a great proponent for me for cooking. Okay. Um, every time she cooked, she cooked with so much flavor, so much essence, mm. and I wanted to do that. So even when I went to culinary school in New York, she said to me, why are you going to school over there? You can just pay me any money and I'll teach you how to cook. <laughs> I like her. Definitely. So Business right here, woman. definitely, right here we have a little bit of dehydrated um, sour lime. Okay. Zest. So you want to be very careful with this because this is a like, this is packed with a bunch of a bunch of punch right so there. So just a pinch. We just need? a pinch. Now remember, pinch is two fingers. Charlie was going to use three just now. <laughs> I almost used three. Yes. Okay. So guys, a pinch, two fingers, right? And that's it. Yes. That that's wow. it. Wow. Okay. So cool. in here, as you can see already, we put uh, that. Dehydrated uh, lemon, what was that? Uh, dehydrated sour lime zest. Sour lime zest. Yes, some the, garlic. Yes. And our mixture, garlic, right? And what else goes in here? Also, we have some cumin. Okay. Keep smell it. You have to smell the cumin seed. Oh, oh the yes. Is good. So I now we're going to do a dash. A dash. Now a dash is, is three fingers. See? Okay. <laughs> I am learning. So a pinch is two fingers. Yes. And a dash is three fingers. Definitely. This makes it easier when cooking because you know you see all these uh, instructions on the recipes and you're like, what, what is that? Okay, great. So and now I know. Now, from our friends over at Greenleaf Farms, we have, this is um, dehydrated dill. Okay. It comes in and we dehydrate it for six hours okay. at the restaurant. So you can also just grab a little bunch of it and you can crumble it in your hand. You see how now soft? Now what's a bunch? <laughs> What's a bunch? Let me see. Too much? Perfect. Oh, see? That's All perfect. Right. That is exactly perfect. All right. So what can we, what do you make over there at Cassava Grill? Why is it called Cassava Grill? Like, are you the cassava connoisseur? Well, I, I would like to think about the cassava <laughs> connoisseur, but we, we do it so many different ways at the restaurant. Um, we have done a curry. We have done it roasted. Wow. The reason why we initially called the restaurant Cassava Grill is because we were um, in the making for about eight years now. Okay. And one of the things that we wanted to do is we actually want to bring our grill concept, which we do every Friday. Friday and bring that with something that was native, something that okay. we knew and that they actually grow. So um, we actually 
tested roasting cassava on the grill and actually having a pigeon pea relish with that and people just loved it. Wow. And from there, so hence the name, yeah, yeah cassava. Now, is it hard to find cassava? Can you, do you find cassava year round or? Um, so far we've been finding it very consistently okay. year round and hopefully in the near future we'll get to be able to have our own um, farms that grows our own cassava. So nice. we're looking forward to the future, you know. Entrepreneurship, yeah, I love Definitely, that. definitely. I love that. So what made you want to step out of the regular chef world and just do your own thing? Because I was just so great. I mean, that was the reason, pretty much. No, I've actually Talk worked... Talk about honesty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually in... The, I worked a lot of um, fabulous restaurants and great hotels. And from there, I learned so many things. One thing they always said about Bahamian chefs was that we didn't have enough um, international exposure. Mm. So one thing I wanted to do was get as much international yeah, exposure. Yeah. And hey, now I have a story I can tell. Nice. So then I tell it through food. All right, okay. so now back to our little salsa. We yes. have in here our... Pickles, I want to call it. Mm -hmm. A little mixture. Uh, a little pickles mixture. Okay, definitely. Dehydrated dill, um, some garlic, and then we put our dehydrated zest. Yeah, the dehydrated um, sour orange zest. Sour orange zest. Okay. All right. So what yeah. else goes in here? So here we got some more dehydrated Long Island red pepper. Uh -huh. so just want to put a little spoon in there. Let's give it a little kick. Okay. It gives it a little spice. And what is this? Oh, this is our Long Island red pepper. We oh, make a paste so you out just of it. made a paste out of it. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Oh, that smells really good. Awesome. Very good. I could eat that on some chicken wings okay. all day. You also want to add a little bit of cilantro. Okay, I love cilantro. And now this is where the fun part comes in. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil at the end. Okay. Just one drizzle, one spoon just and drizzle, drizzle around. Yes. Okay, perfect. My hands are a little heavy. Is that good? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Good. And now we're going to add the dehydrated papaya. Just grab a bunch and you can crumble it all together. How do you dehydrate papaya? <laughs> well, we dehydrate papaya at 145 degrees for about six hours. You have a dehydrator at the restaurant and this gives you that little bit of crunch that you usually have. Because wow. the first thing people say about papaya is, oh, it's too mushy, oh, too many seeds, I don't want to use it. Wow. But in this recipe, you get to actually use it and actually try to enjoy it. Nice, so that's you're it? just going to stir it around a little bit. Wow, okay. Excellent. And then we can put it in our bowl and that'll be it. You can set it in the refrigerator to marinate. And that's it? That's it. Wow, that's <laughs> actually really simple. So we set, I think I want some more papaya in there. Oh, nice. Go ahead. Go ahead. Definitely like go ahead. You like a good crunch. Nice. Definitely. All right. That's the great thing about this recipe. You so can we make put it, it back in way. our bowl? Yes. And we just let it sit? Oh, we let it sit. We put it in the refrigerator and then we'll prep our fish and then we'll move forward. Wow. That was okay. pretty simple. Nice. Yes. I've been flavor packed. So you're the flavor god. Hey, that's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. All right. So let me just throw this in the fridge. All right. Now you call yourself the flavor god. Oh. I am super excited <laughs> to see how we will get this fish okay. flavorful. I'm going to follow your lead and throw you on. Follow my lead on this one. Okay. Throw great. on some gloves. Nice. Now does the gloves um, add to the flavor or? Oh well, no! Well, not so much <laughs> add to the flavor, but we always want to promote um, safety first. Yes. Going to promote safety. First. Awesome. Okay. So, this is our beautiful we, grouper fillet. Nice. Nice. You know. So, what do we start with this one? Okay, first what we want to do, we want to make sure that you have a nice firm piece of grouper. As you can see, nice Very and firm. Very thick, there, I there, love there, it, thick. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you notice once you have that, you want to put it on the table, mm -hmm. and you want to add little slits. Little slits. Little slits. Because what it does, it works with the miclomata. Okay. I know, I know, I know. What, what it's is, a big word. It's a big word. Miklomata. As you can see, the structure here of the fish is actually in layers. Mm -hmm. So unlike beef, where it's actually tied into the muscles, the miklomata lies on top of each other like shingles. So, hey. Hey, so you got to be careful when you're preparing these fish. All right, flavor god. <laughs> so what do we, what, how do we flavor this? <laughs> okay, great. So we're just going to slice this now to the top. We're going to do something very, very quick. Nothing, nothing very long. A little bit of sea salt. Okay. We want to use our... Long Island red paste. That really smells good. Uh, yes. So you also want to hit it with a little bit of dehydrated peppers. What's the point of dehydrating a lot of your ingredients? I see you do that a lot. Well, one of the points of dehydrating is that it actually draws out all the moisture and it intensifies the flavor. Mm. Okay, so everything is fortified. You really get a chance to taste each, in each ingredient in its entirety. This is the raw, this is actually the essence, as we like to call, of each dish. Okay. And then we want to add a little bit of olive oil over the top. And that's it? Yeah, and then we can, then we can get in there with our gloves so you wow. don't do a mess about manicures. Okay. So you want to get in there? Come sure, on, don't, don't be afraid. Just rub it all around, Yeah, right? just make sure, just rub it all around. All right, so the Flavor God flavoring these grouper pieces for our tacos, you guys. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I wish you guys could smell this kitchen. We haven't even really started cooking <laughs> as yet, but just the ingredients that Chef Owen has in here has this kitchen just 
beautifully scented. You really are the flavor god. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So as you saw earlier in the mm -hmm. show, we got our grouper going, right? Yeah. We seasoned that going. down, put that in the fridge, and we made our salsa. Yes. And now it's time now to do this homemade guacamole. Yeah, homemade. I love me a good guac. Hey, definitely. You know, guacamole really celebrates the harvest. Celebrates everything that's in the garden, everything that's pretty much fresh. Nice. You know? So today we're going to have some haas, avocados. Now the reason why I chose haas avocados are to against the traditional avocados, which are from South America, is that this one here is a little bit smaller okay. and it's a little bit more creamier, okay? okay? So you scoop it out, you'll see the creamy texture. I always wonder what the difference was in yes. avocados when I go into Definitely. the store. So, all right, let's get, let me put on my gloves while yeah, you yes, get that going. <laughs> okay. So first, what we want to do here, is just want to make an incision straight around. Uh-huh. Okay. Just want to turn. Oh. Now, I'm going to put Beautiful. this Beautiful. Yes. Do so you know I could not eat Avocado like that? No. No, I, I can't. Like it has to be in a wok or something. Yes. Like, I can't oh. eat it just like that. Oh, I love it this way. You know, it's especially too with, mushy. Especially with bread. Oh man, trust me, it's definitely great. It's and great. Grits, it's I great. know. I it's see great. people do it all the time. <laughs> okay. So now you just want to take the spoon, mm -hmm. and put it inside, and you can scoop all the inside. All righty. Okay. Perfect. Great. And then when you're done with the seed, you just take a little stick and a twist. And just take it out. And it's out. There all you right. go. Yes. So what's your favorite part about being a chef? Um, I get to eat everything. I get to eat after everything. No, but I think traveling as a chef is very mm -hmm. important because I think the more I travel, the more I begin to see that we have a great product here in the Bahamas yeah. in terms of Bahamas, our cuisine, and our products are definitely coming to the world-class standard. Nice. All right. So who are like some of your favorite people to cook for? Um, boy, the favorite, maybe we should say people who are not so favorite, you know, like, like my family, my biggest critics. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Aren't they always though? <laughs> always, no always. The industry, no matter the job, they're always going to be the ones that like, drew. The truth oh, that you don't want to hear. Oh, the truth is what we call it now. Yeah, okay, it is. Great. It is the truth. <laughs> yeah, well, but I've been fortunate in my career to cook for a great amount of people. I've cooked for Shaquille O'Neal. I've cooked for Michael Keaton. Um, nice. We've mentioned last... Um, um, when we did the first um, carnival, I was actually the private chef for Marshall Montana. Wow, nice. So, um, my gifts have definitely made room for me. So, what, what do people say? Like, what did some of these celebrities say after they had your food? Like, are they like, oh, that's the best ever? Well, of course, of course. Well, I mean, besides that, you know, the, the, the thing that I actually cook for is that little sound, you know, when you make with your teeth and you go, Ah, you, know, ah, you wait yes, to hear that definitely. sound. I love to hear that sound, you know, because that means my dish will be probably memorable. A lot of times we have, mm -hmm. we have meals and we walk away from the meal. Yeah. And we're like, what did I have for lunch today? So definitely, you know, that, that's what I that's what I live for. Nice. So who is the dream person to cook for? Someone you haven't cooked for yet, but you would love. I would love to cook for Oprah. Oprah ah. and Chef O. You know, the O goes together. The flavor nice. god. It makes sense. And she it makes the sense. Greens, of course, and she loves her of course. Foods. Definitely, definitely. Nice. So what are you doing to make that a reality? Um, <laughs> I'm praying, praying a lot. I'm praying a lot. Um, I'm hoping. Um, I sent a couple of prayers up for my grandfather. He's up there in heaven. Okay. Yeah. So you know, hopefully this is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I think we're about six degrees away from everybody so <laughs> I know a person who know a person That's who, who true. knows a guy. Well I see Oprah in your future. Eh? No definitely. I, well, you. Well, I claim that. <laughs> awesome. Okay so now. All right done. so we're just now taking our avocado out of one more. the there you skin go. so we can make our guacamole. Nice. I love me a good guac. Let me tell you, I always tell people I am the funniest eater because I cannot eat avocado for nothing. Like, I would die right now with this <laughs> in my mouth. But give me a good guac and I'm good to go. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. So, okay. okay. We, we, oh, so, okay. the avocado is good. Nice. So, now we want to add just about two little tablespoons, with two little teaspoons right here of lemon juice. Okay. On use the inside. Sure. You can just go ahead. Right can here. you use this bigger one? Well, that's fine. The bigger one is fine. Okay. Yep. Just one. We'll put one of the bigger one. There you go. Nice. Now, Good. the reason why we do that is, is so it doesn't oxidize and turn brown. Okay. So you want to use your, um, your spatula now and just toss and toss it in there. Toss. Yeah, just toss. Not mix or not mush, mix, right? Not mix and mush. Just toss. Okay. Toss lightly. Fold it over. Awesome. This smells really good. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoy it. So now with that, it's time for a little bit of seasoning. Okay. okay. We're going to use our sea salt. Just a pinch. Mm -hmm. Should I take my gloves off? Oh, please. Would you? <laughs> okay. Would you please? So I can get my pinches and dashes yeah, pinches right. And da of course. So a pinch was two fingers. Yes, and a dash is three. So okay. Nice, excellent. So you need, pinch. You need a dash of cumin. Okay. Mm -hmm. A dash was three. <laughs> yes, a dash was definitely I'm a, three. I'm a good student, I oh, promise. Definitely. We have here a quarter cup of red onions. You can add the whole thing into there for okay. me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Definitely. Okay. We have some chopped tomatoes. You can just add into there. And you know, I don't eat tomatoes. You don't eat tomatoes? Oh my goodness. Well, but 
All of it? Uh, or just, just about half of it? some of it. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. Good? Great. Okay. Okay. I tell you, I'm a funny eater. Don't eat tomatoes, but I can eat salsa all day. Okay. Anyway, it's lime. Crazy. You have lime, just you're gonna go with a dash of that, you know? Three fingers. There you Three go. Three fingers. I keep Definitely. forgetting. <laughs> all right, got that. Okay, great. And you're gonna add some cilantro. Okay. Cilantro. This is like the perfect little dish to make. Mm -hmm. It's easy too, you know, guacamole is always easy to make and perfect for whatever day, you know, Sunday, Monday. Definitely. At home watching Real Housewives. Yeah, <laughs> that, there you go. Okay. <laughs> A little right. oily drizzle in there, right? Yeah, a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. Uh -huh. Now, this is something that we don't traditionally use in our... Sorry. That we don't traditionally use in, the, in our guacamole, but I just want you to taste it. It just came in today, it came in fresh. Just eat just it? Ta just eat it. Just what taste is it? it. Just taste it. You tell me. Oh. 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 What is oh. that? Wow. Wonderful. That is so flavorful. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> It's kind of tangy. Yeah. What is yeah. that? It, it tastes like Lady, you get them business, earthy, you get them but it's really good. Yes. Well, this is actually the herb stevia. Have you ever heard of stevia? No. Yeah, stevia. This is actually what they use to actually as um, a natural form of sweetener. The natural. sugar thing that the, yes. that's on TV. So this is like the and herb this is the form, herb form. That is really good. I know because I'm the flavor. <laughs> right, okay. He is really the flavor. Like, that was like a pile of flavor in my. I did not know what happened just now. That is Excellent. really good. So we got to add a little. Do we find this here locally? Yes, this is actually from uh, my friend um, Tony over at Greenleaf Farms. He okay. brings me fresh herbs every day. Everything we have here is from actually Greenleaf wow. Farms. I also have some cinnamon basil, of course. And this is why I am definitely like you really go and you hunt oh, yes. down we your have ingredients to. Have and to. stuff. We definitely have to. We definitely that was have to. That was a surprise just now. Awesome. Okay. So, so we're gonna just grab a little piece more. We're just gonna chop it up. We're gonna add it into it. So we're gonna make our guacamole over the top you know mm -hmm. I, I know you've had the regular guacamole you gotta make it over the top you don't no. mind taking it over the top no i don't <laughs> mind at all i'm a little extra so that's fine excellent so about back to this uh stevia, yeah. stevia yes, um leaf what other uses can we use for it? I've never seen it in that form before. Oh, great. Well, well it's, it's a natural sweetener. You can use it for anything you need to sweeten. Um, it has low calories, um, uh, not such a bitter aftertaste, yeah. but it gives it the complexity of an herb with a little bit of sweetness, so you don't expect that all the time. I never knew a leaf could be sweet. You know, when you <laughs> scared me, I was expecting something that's going to be harsh, harsh and, and grainy, uh, you know? But, listen, but that was pretty good. Awesome. Okay. So we just want to toss that all together. All and then right. we're going to set it in the fridge and then I'll be our guacamole for our dish. All right, so nice. our guac, you guys, was very simple to make, very easy to make. As you can see, we put flavor yeah, everything in there yes. just now. Yes. So let me just put this away and let me grab our fish. Yes. All right. This dish is coming along beautifully. I can't wait. <laughs> to go home and try this myself. Oh, most definitely. And it's, it's very simple. It's very yes, simple. it's very simple and fun. Like I say, you know, tacos, mm -hmm. fun foods, but we're of course fun putting foods. a Bahamian spin on definitely, it, right? Definitely, definitely. All right, so our grouper that we uh, flavored a little earlier, uh -huh. it's time now to make them. Yeah, time to, guess what? Of course. Okay. <laughs> you gotta of grab, course. You gotta grab some more gloves. You gotta grab some more gloves. I don't there blame you. you. I don't blame you. A lot of people. I just want to make sure, you know. I know. That, that, that's good. I think our viewers could appreciate someone who Definitely. takes their safety, you know, <laughs> into consideration. I love it. Thank you. This is like a trademark, though. Hey, yes, I, I definitely. Don't really the black gloves. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, the flavor god needs something. <laughs> it's okay. So. I think these kind of help with your flavoring, though. I think you these think have so? like <laughs> magic powers, maybe. <laughs> I think these help. Maybe that's a little bit. Just a little just bit. Just a little, right? Just a little bit. All it takes is a little bit of creativity <laughs> and a little bit of imagination. All right. Now here we have here is our smoke um, chip seasoning that we create here at this the restaurant. This fine. All kind of seasoning. Oh yes, stuff. definitely. <laughs> we, we we create our own seasoning. Wow. We, we dehydrate them. We make our own seasonings. We slice our own chips. So every single thing that you have at Cassava Grill is made there at the restaurant. Nice. In about another couple of months, we're actually going to have to take them to market. So you can take a piece of Cassava Grill home with you. I like okay? this. I like this. And also on March 11th, we begin our Taste Life series. Okay. Oh, yeah. So now, this is something else that you don't find normally in the Bahamas. This is Cassava Flour. Cassava Flour. Who, who has Cassava Flour? You know, it's wow. Cassava Grill, Cassava Flour. People talk to me. Are you feeling it? I, I'm feeling <laughs> it. I'm ready to taste it. Okay, great. <laughs> so we just want to dredge this in a little bit of Cassava Flour. Okay. And we'll add it right back onto the plate. Okay. Great, yeah. So as you can see, Chef Owen doesn't do anything 
the usual like, <laughs> He takes his flour, the batter that he's making for his fish, and he adds his own little cassava seasoning to it. Oh yes, I, I, I wish I can. I wish I could disclose it, but it's patent pending. Patent oh, pending. you guys have to wait to buy it, I guess, <laughs> out the store whenever it becomes available, Definitely. right? Definitely. Wow, you, you, you're doing a great job with this. All right. As you can see, the cassava flour is naturally gluten free. Okay. Yeah. So. Not only is it help in the actual crisping of it, mm -hmm. it also is it provides a healthy meal option for okay. you too. A lot of my um, clients are gluten free, and they appreciate this very much. Tell us what is gluten free. Well, gluten oh. a lot of people jump on trends. Just to jump on it trends. Sounds fancy. I like to know. No? Oh, definitely. Well, <laughs> well, the trend. I wouldn't say the trend. Gluten free is um, things that are gluten free is when you produce flour. For the flour then begins to work and it begins to create long strands. That's how we produce bread. Okay. Now when something is gluten-free, they don't, the starches don't, aren't allowed to connect. So the bread stays shorter and it stays flatter. So like ah. a cracker and it breaks. So gluten, sometimes people become affected by it or some people may be allergic to It's not to good gluten. in the long run. It's not good in the long run mm. for them and their body. And you know, and right. a lot of clients now, especially, they require yeah. some gluten-free treatment. All right, so our gluten-free <laughs> cassava <laughs> flour battered. <laughs> yes, nice. Uh, grouper mm -hmm. is now all covered. Definitely. I think I did a good job. What you, you think? You did an excellent job. You did an Great. excellent job. So I'll take it over from here, and then what I will do now, because you know we, do, we never do anything regular, right? No. So we're gonna take we're gonna take those now, uh -huh. and we're gonna add these to a little bit of our curry oil. What our curry oil is, our homemade mayo. This is flavor on flavor on fla flavor. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's only, it's only one taco. It's only one taco. You gotta get all the wow. flavor packed and punched in one bite. Okay, so we're gonna toss that over there. And a curry aioli. Oh yes, definitely, wow. definitely. We wanna make sure everybody gets a good piece of this, okay? And then we're gonna add it in a little bit of what? what? A little bit of Bread what? crumbs. Oh, well. What is it? This is our toasted coconut. Toasted we, coconut crumbs. Listen, we, we're going to wear Flavor Town. Flavor Town, Definitely, okay. and, and you know what happens in Flavor Town? There's always a party in your mouth, okay? That's wow. what we're talking about. See, I, I, am, I am like <laughs> gagging right now. I cannot <laughs> wait to taste it. This is like, this is like taco on 10. I don't know where you come from with this, no, with this recipe. No, but this definitely. We gotta, we gotta take tacos to a new 10. level. You gotta take tacos to a new level. Wow. So, All right. So with that, what we would do then now, let's make sure our oil is nice and hot. So you wanna take one of them, you wanna add it in there. Ah, oh. listen to that. Oh, there you go. That's the sound That's the I've magic. been waiting That's to hear. That's the magic. That's the magic. That's the sound I've been waiting <laughs> to hear, you guys. All right, so let me just cover this one. Oh, great. Nice, wonderful. All right. Oh, wow, okay. This is amazing. Yeah. I'll just add this to here. You can make that wonderful sound again. Awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> so we took the grouper, we put it in some cassava, batter, fl cassava, cassava flour, flour then dipped I it in some curry aioli, dipped it again in some coconut crumbs, and now we're frying them. This is about to be amazing, This is about guys. to be amazing. This is Chef It Up. Our grouper tacos are coming right up. <laughs> so our dish is almost done. I am ready to bite into my grupa taco with our papaya and coconut salsa. Oh, yes. And then we have a really nice, refreshing guacamole, homemade guacamole on the side. Ah, yeah. And so our grupa that we battered in three different things, pretty much. We <laughs> yes. battered it in the cassava uh, flour. Cassava flour. We battered and then it in, in the, the curry aioli. And then in the, the coconut. coconut. Yeah. Coconut little nice. uh, crunchies. Nice. There we go. All right. So you're going to take those out there. They are beautifully golden. Oh, yeah. Just like how I like it, <laughs> you know? Not too overcooked. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. Not too yeah. crunchy, but just crunchy enough. I oh, love it. Nice. Okay. All right. The worst, the worst thing you can have is an overcooked fish. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. So definitely. So what we want to do is very quick, very simple. You want to heat up a tortilla very quickly. Okay. So we're going to heat up our tortilla. This is yeah. a great dish to me. Oh, yes, definitely. So who would you typically cook this for? Well, um, usually my friends, like I say, okay. a Friday night or Saturday, if you want to have lunch on yes. the outside, something quick, you want to add a roast, you want to add some pulled pork, you want to add some cassava I chips. I love pulled pork. <laughs> oh, you man. You know, this is something light. This is something fun that me and my friends will love, mm -hmm. like to do, drink a nice light wine, maybe a Pinot Grigio with it. Some guys like the, uh, the Pinot Noir. It works, and works very, very well. Nice. So what we got, our, our heated tortilla. Uh-huh. Very simple. We're gonna add some hoisin, the hoisin, hoisin sauce. sauce. We're gonna take a, a, what does that do for this dish? Well, what it does is actually brings everybody together. You know, mm. you, you remember that, that aunt in the family that everybody knows that, she you know. Gossip, they're, they're, she gossips, uh, she rowdy, but she's a lover. She, she, yeah, brings, she, it she brings it all together. She brings it I all together, it. great. <laughs> um, can, can we grab the guacamole? Oh can, uh, yes, definitely. Great, you can, we can't forget the great stuff. No, we can't forget the great stuff. not our guac. Nice. 
Okay, so just to mirror some of the flavor in there as well, with the fish, we're gonna add, once again, our curry aioli. The curry aioli, okay. Yeah, so gonna go there. Awesome. Okay, great. I see why they call this man the flavor <laughs> god. Like, he is just a putting together pows of flavor, pows of ingredients, just Awesome. Things that just, I didn't even know would work together, but they're working together for this dish. And the great thing about it is 90% of the products that I use today come from the Bahamas, locally. That is awesome. Locally. That I, is awesome. Okay. So definitely. support Bahamian, eh? Definitely support Bahamian. Because we have these things here. Oh, you, you, feel you, like you, they have you, to, you definitely have to, you know, go to the store and buy everything that's, you know, shipped in. But we okay, have great. Yes. farms here Farm, that, you know, definitely. these things. That, okay, this is the thing That produce already. great. That produce great produce. I had no clue that we were going to put the guac on the tortilla. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, not only am I the flavor god, I'm also the texture god as well. So we're gonna and add- And texture's important. <laughs> it is important, okay? Yes. We wanna eat in 3D. We watch TV in 3D. That's this food true. is in HD, That's true. okay? I love it. <laughs> oh man, my mouth is watering. Definitely. <laughs> so now we wanna add our pickles. And the good thing about pickles is we, we're gonna add it by hand. This is our slaw mm -hmm. with the, with the uh, coconut and mm -hmm. the papaya, the dehydrated papaya yes. in there. Okay, so you want to add a liberal amount right on top of that. Wow. You know what? Are you ready to go to Flavor Town? Listen, I am ready. Are you ready to go to Flavor Town? Okay. Oh. Like, I think you're taking a little too long for me. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> and we're going to top it off with just two pieces of dehydrated tomatoes, okay? Wow. So it tastes better with your hands. So, how do you eat this? How do I even hold this? How okay, do I? Now, what we want to do when you're eating a taco, we want to keep our hands at 9 o'clock and at 3 o'clock first. Where's 9? Nine? 9 is here. 9. Yeah, and 3 o'clock is here. And then 3. Okay, now bring the family together. Okay. Bring everybody together. All the time, bring it in. Don't be afraid. It's yours. It's, it's yours. It's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's uh -huh. good. Okay. Now you want to grasp. You want to make sure your muscles here are strong. Are they? Okay, good. Shut Excellent. Up. You want to tuck. Now you want to lift and bite. Okay. Just right, right over the plate. Right over the <laughs> of plate. Of course. <laughs> Guys, I'm going in. Do you see this? I'm going in. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Okay. I see why they call you the flavor god. <laughs> I taste sweet. I taste a little salty, a little spice. I taste a little tangy. There's crunch. There's the softness of the meat, the crunch of that dehydrated tomato. This right here from the taco, oh my God, is absolutely good. <laughs> awesome. What is that sweet thing? Is that the hoisin sauce at the bottom there that's real sweet? Well, no, the hoisin sauce gives you a, um, a smoky, kind of a mm -hmm. salty taste. But remember, we add a little bit of that stevia, that stevia mm -hmm. right there. So that bring, that sweetness brings out and it balances. Remember when you're working with flavors, flavors aren't only just putting a bunch of things together. It's actually working with a bunch of other elements that will bring out the best of each one. So now this is nice and salty. You have a balance with the sweet of stevia. This is the best taco that I've ever had in my life. Wow. I'm the flavor you guard, you are approved. Yeah, you, are, you are chef thank you. Enough approved. Thank you. I thank you so <laughs> much, Chef Owen, you guys. Please try this recipe. Please find Chef Owen. Please yes. go to Cassava Grill. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Chef It Up. I have to finish this. I'm sorry. <laughs> See you next time.